How's it going, YouTube? And welcome back, and like really welcome back to uh, Mega Man 2.5D. Um, dragging up this old gem um, because uh, uh, Mega Maker is coming out. Uh, I think sometime this weekend. Mega Maker, another fan-made game, kind of made you know, kind of in the, in the theme of like Mario Maker, but with, with Mega Man and being able to make Mega Man stages and all that stuff. So as super hyped as uh, as I am about that, um, I figured, hey, you know. Not only are we going to be playing another fan game that pisses off Capcom, let's go back and play another fan game just to piss off Capcom. Although, let's be completely honest, you know, this is Mega Man. This is probably on the, the, the last thing Capcom cares about, right? Unless it's, you know, making another uh, action figure or something. He, they, they don't give up, you know. Mega Man, you know, in a, in a video game, fuck that shit. That, they're, they're over that. You know, uh, they could give two fucks. They're going to make another stupid-ass Dead, Dead Rising game or something. Although, I, I don't know, probably Dead Rising's good. I, I I've never, I think I played maybe an hour of the first one when it first came out, but that was it. But yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, and actually Mega Man 2.5D here, for those who don't know, uh, this was one of my first series games that I was covering, um, when it first came out, um, back in the, back in the day when I was doing, uh, commentary. And, uh, actually, what you may notice here as well is that I haven't played this game in maybe, like, a few months, so I'm a bit rusty. The only thing I remembered was that, like, we had to face, Sp like, Splash Woman next. That was the last thing I I, I had any sort of recollection of, uh, of this game, but to the point I'm like, I think her stage was a motherfuck, um, and uh, we had to face her next. That's all, like, all I vaguely remember. You'll even see me clunk through the, the menus at times, because I, I don't remember how to fucking, what button mate works me certain menus. Um, but yeah, I, I, uh... I figured it'd be uh, time to go back with the old Blue Bomber for good old time's sake, just because I think this weekend, uh, yeah, Mega Maker is coming out, and that's going to be uh, pretty amazing. You know, I'll be there to download that quick before Capcom uh, shuts that thing down. But I don't know. I don't know. They haven't shut down Mega Man 2.25D, so who who the frig knows, right? They don't give a shit about Mega Man. You know, it, it would only make them billions, you know, it would only make them hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars if they just made a proper, decent one. You can even see it, see it with the, uh, the new, uh, Mighty Gunvolt game that's on, like, Switch, I believe? You know, uh, they're, uh, you know, uh, pretty decent game. It looks like it's making some traction in the world. People are making, you know, taking notice of it. So, uh, you know, I think the, you know, the desire for uh, a good Mega Man game is still very much a thing. You know, you look at Sho Shovel Knight, you know, and, um, you know, games of the like, you know, it's still very much a thing, but you couldn't tell Capcom that, really. They're, they're too busy um, doing their best to ruin, um, like, Street Fighter and Marvel vs. Capcom as we speak. Have you heard the story about that? I don't know if it's, this is particularly true or not. I saw this on Reddit, so take it for what you want. But, um, you know, um, the Street Fighter characters in that game look fucking, I, I guess I guess to be, you know, nice yet mean. They look like derp as fuck. You know, they look really fucking stupid. You know, real, real ugly, really dumb looking people. And uh, apparently, you know, uh, I don't know. Take this for take it for what you know. Take it for what it's worth. You know, you know, someone just making up a story or it's secondhand, uh, you know, secondhand rumor stuff. But apparently, uh, you know, Disney, Disney, who uh, owns Marvel, um, kind of, you know, who, you know, they they told, uh, you know, uh, they they kind of wanted the uh, the Street Fighter characters to look like dog shit compared to. Uh, the Marvel superheroes and, and, uh, you know, get a lot less, uh, get a lot less camera time, but, and there, and there I am fucking using that E-Tank as soon as we get it. That's so boneheaded. Luckily, this is not a particular run that matters all that much. Um, but yeah, still just getting kind of baffled by the, uh, controls and getting used to things. It's been so long since I played this, played this game. But yeah, I don't know how, how true that story is of, like, a former employee saying, oh, well, Disney wants us to make these characters look dumb. 
I mean, if that was the job they had to do over the course of a couple weeks, they did, they did a pretty well job, pretty good job making Chung Lee look like a friggin' <laughs> there's there's nothing I can really say that would that, that I wouldn't regret saying, right? I mean, I'm not saying that, like, all video game females have to be, like, supermodels, but, you know, they have an established, you know, uh, look for the character, you know? And, you know, she comes out with this sort of, like, pig nose and weird eyebrows and, you know, almost like a Frida Kahlo look, you know? This sort of, like, like, the, the, you know, like, some, I don't know, I don't I don't even want to make this comment. I don't even want to make this comment of, like, you know, those bad, uh, bad cosplayers where you're just like, ugh. That's certainly not that character, but, you know, good on you for trying. I don't even want to make that comment, even though I just did. But, you know, that's kind of how it looks like, where it's like, the f you know, they, they put a little, a little too much bleach in these characters. But yeah, Mega Maker this weekend. weekend. Expect me to j be jumping on that. Um... Yeah, yeah, who knows? Who knows what may, may, may become of it? You know, maybe it's going to be one of those big takedown fiascos where, uh, you know, someone at Capcom uh, fucking goes nuclear and, and, you know, it seems like it seems like every every week there's some new story of some studio or developer fucking losing their fucking mind over something. Like, like I, I know I spoke about the, the Star Mazer stuff, but that's still a thing. Still! Still a thing. I I I, I can bear, I can't even imagine it. You know, I mean, it it must take like you know, it's it's been maybe a couple weeks, maybe maybe even three weeks. You know, you would you would have to have given yourself enough exhausting you know exhaustive research to kind of look at everything and you know. Um, you know, double check all your paperwork, read through all your, you know, stuff, and find out, oh fuck, I've made a giant mistake. But who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? It just seems like, like humans, humans sometimes, or, or, or just people, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's sentience, or maybe it's, or, or what it is, but, you know, more, it, it's funny to see how humans, you know, Although, like, animals, you know, with a sort of natural instinct to, you know, look over their best interests, to really fucking self-destruct self, self -destruct and kind of become their worst enemies. It's just so baffling, you know? But, but, you know, I mean, that's, that's the nature of certain things, I suppose, when you're, when you're given a, uh, a bad hand to deal with, you know, or uh, dealt some bad cards, you know, uh, you know, maybe you don't make the best choices in the world, I suppose. Alright, so here I am. I'd, this is me going, well, we're at, we're at Splash Room finally, but fucks if I remember what the hell it is. So it's certainly not Star, maybe it's, maybe it's Quick Air, Quick boomerang thing. No, not quick boomerang. Aha. So yes, it's it's the old Shadow Man shuriken thing. And a little bumbling through the options. And I've kind of just accepted my death here. Trying to preserve my uh, shadow shot, as it were. You know, we, we, we lost that fight, but I certainly have, what was it? Yeah, I actually have a couple more, uh, couple more attempts there of one man. So I have a couple of attempts to, uh, beat this boss. And I didn't want to, like, use all my shadow shot in that fight that was probably clearly lost. Still gonna lose that one too, or we just did lose that one rather. Not much of a, not much of a uh, assumption when it just happens.
But you know what? Splash Woman isn't necessarily the hardest boss. I'm just being really too aggressive. You know, you can take down, as you can see, a couple hits like that took down maybe like a fourth. Maybe, yeah, maybe fourth or a fifth. You no, know, maybe, yeah, actually. I don't know, I'm not going to fight percentages, but yeah, just a couple whacks like that have taken her down below half health. So, you know, you really can, you know, uh, take your time with her, you know. Watch watch out for these, you know, her trident attacks and her fish. And just like that, you know, I mean, we are, you know, we almost beat her there, so. So that was our, uh, like, getting the hang of things run, so. I imagine, you know, where we're more than halfway through this video, it's probably safe to assume the fate of this, of this run now. Now that we figured everything else, uh, everything else out, I, I guess. I, I'm sorry. This is this is getting too late in the late in the night for me to be trying to make sense here. But yeah, I've 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 got a backlog of some uh, some more video games. I've I've got some. Uh, what do I have? Oh, I have some Crimson, Crimson Clover. That would that'd be a nice surprise that you guys seen. I just I just kind of played that and was just like Jesus had a good run. Um, what else do I have? I have some more. Uh... Fuck, I forget. I forget now. Is it Fire Arrow or is it Hurricane of the Far Stray? I forget now. But yeah, some, some cool surprises. But it's it's certainly weird to uh, throw up a, a game like Mega Man here um, out of the blue. Hopefully everyone likes it. Do let me know if you if you are down with the Mega Mans. I'll certainly play more. We, we've we've gone quite a quite a good distance in this game so far. I very much doubt we'll beat it by this weekend for uh, Mega Maker, but all the same, you know, it'd be a, you know, it's all it'd be always good to revisit some of this stuff and 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 uh, you know make a little progress. You know, you can almost see if you go through my YouTube, you can almost see, um, you know, my my childhood, um, you know, NES and Super NES um, video game collection, you know. You know, it was the you know it was, it was the uh, Gyrus, the Gradius, that sort of thing. It was the the Mega Man's um, and the Street Fighters. That's pretty much it. You know, there was a few others. That was that was real garbage right there. Sort of stuff. You know, you know when you're impatient and think you know you know what whatever, I'll do it the quick easy way, and then you get punished for it. But. Yeah, what type of games did I have when I was younger? Um, yeah, I mean, you pretty much see it. A lot of... I, I pretty much had a good amount of the Mega Man. It's not all of them, but a good amount of them. Um, you know, pretty much all the Zeldas. A lot of a lot of shooters, you know, like the Gradius and the, Gyr uh, the, the Gyrus. Um, The old Met the Metroids and the Castlevanias, that sort of thing as well. You know, I'd love to play a Castlevania game on this uh, on this channel. You know, we we played a uh, Lament, which is kind of like a Castlevania like game. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe I'll have to find a fan game of uh, some sort of Castlevania ROM or something, or uh, find that uh, sort of uh, the Metroid one. The um, another uh, Metroid 2 remake. I believe that game was stricken down by Nintendo, but I'm sure it's still out there. Um, you know, if you, if you know of a of a safe place, you know, for my my beta snowflake ass uh, to uh, find uh, this, the Metroid fan game, uh, hit me up. Let me know. 
I'd love to, I'd love to check that out, but... <laughs> I don't know what my, my damn, um, fascination or my damn, my obsession with using time there just so I can get my jumps off with slowing their bullets. But they are a little hard to, to reach, and they are pretty annoying. But we're doing a fine job of actually not doing exactly what I said of, of, uh, Knowing the level, knowing a boss, and making quick work of this. But it wasn't all bad. We got that E tank at least. I mean, I think, I think it's good to good to say that we, you know, I think it's a good trade for uh, you know life when you have a handful of them for an E tank. But yeah, I'm coming to the uh, the realization when it comes to, you know, playing games for YouTube and showcasing some of my favorites and stuff that I'm into. It's just that there's too many things to, going on, you know. You know, I make, you know, ten or so videos for, uh, you know, Castle Shikigami and Neko Navy maybe like a month or so ago. Or even weeks ago. And like, you know, they're great games. I'd like to play more of them, but more things have happened and I... I, I you know, I, th I feel I've completed things like Neko Navy at least a good amount that I, I can leave it alone for now. But it's like, you know, my god. So many games. Alright. I think that's it for her now. I think if we take like a, you know, a, a methodical approach. Counter that sort of down, down attack that she has. I think we can make quick work of this. <laughs> Pretty shitty <laughs> slide there. I mean, we're pretty much going uh, shot for shot, and then really fucking up trying to get to my E tank here. It's just fumbling through the options here. There you go. It's, it's almost like you have to equip it as like a weapon and then and then use it. And sadly enough, we probably didn't need to use it. I don't know. I'd have to go back and check out our life there, but you know, done is done. R.I.P. Splash Woman, right? All right, and that's going to be it for this this video. Don't for, uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and um, maybe we'll do this again uh, uh, very soon.